Today, we'll be showing you guys how to wire a US hollow shaft motor uh, to three phase 480 volt. There are a few different wiring configurations, but we're gonna just show you go through this particular one today. This particular motor is set up for 480 volt three phase. You will see there is a label here. We will be using the high voltage which means all these wires here are labeled. And on that, we're gonna go eight to five with a wire nut, seven to four with a wire nut, and six to nine with a wire nut. We have our one, two, and three leads, which are our bigger ones. We go to line one to one volt, one end, line two to the other end, line three to the other end, and green goes to ground, which is the back most of the time you have to field install a lug in the back of this panel. Okay, as you can see here, guys, we are we have our two white heater wires, which we wire nut together in this particular situation. A product we use are these Burndy connectors. They're pre-insulated. They use aluminum lugs and they have pre-electrical grease put into them. They work really good. Uh, we got them on our website. Don't be afraid to hit us up on them. Okay, just to re reiterate what we just did, on high voltage, 480 volt, we hooked our six and nine wires together. We hooked our seven and four wires together, and we hooked our eight and five wires together. Our line one, two, and three went to our leads, one, two, and three in, and we also used these Burndy connectors which once you pop the caps off on them, you could put caps back in them and tape them to secure them. And our final step is to go to our pump panel, turn it on, turn it to hand, be ready to turn it off right away, hit start. If the motor turns freely, you know it's wired correctly. If it hums, turn it off instantly and flip wires one and two around. 